Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing some new research and new discoveries coming from within the solar system. More unusual unexplained light that seems to be created by something within the solar system, but currently does not really have a very good explanation. There are some propositions, but the scientists still are not entirely sure what's causing this extra light. And so let's talk a little bit more about this recent discovery, and actually some of the other previous discoveries on this topic as well. Because this is obviously not the first time the scientists discover some unusual glow somewhere out there, and they're not 100% certain what's behind the phenomenon. And the most famous type of the glow that you can actually find in a solar system, and even see yourself without any telescope, is the glow that's referred to as the zodiacal light. I think this image right here is one of the better representations of what it kinda looks like, and is basically something that you can pretty much see from any part of the planet, if you find yourself in a dark enough environment. And the thing is, for many years, the scientists believed that a lot of the zodiacal light and a lot of, basically, the glow that's produced here might be caused by tiny pieces of meteoroids or maybe even tiny pieces from various comets that get deposited over time and remain in a certain orbit somewhere between planet Earth and the asteroid belt. But there is a video on the channel from possibly just over a year ago that explains how our assumptions about this have changed. Mostly because of the observations from the Juno probe that was traveling from planet Earth to its current orbit around Jupiter. Over time, the mission discovered some really unusual properties of a lot of the particles that cause the zodiacal light, with the orbital parameters suggesting that it actually is coming from only Mars. Which of course implies that the zodiacal light could actually just be the Martian dust. And it seems to make a lot of sense, and a lot of the recent research supports this idea. But that's of course just one type of the glow that seems to happen somewhere around the solar system. Very recently, we've also discussed this other type of glow that was discovered by the iconic New Horizons probe that you see right here, when looking at the light much, much farther away from planet Earth, basically at the outskirts of the solar system. And in this case, after passing Pluto and after it reached some of the more distant parts of the solar system, it actually started seeing some other glow, unusual excess optical light it was approximately twice as bright as the scientists expected. Now at the moment it's not entirely clear what's causing it, but there have been some major propositions suggesting either that there are more galaxies in the entire universe than we originally assumed, or, as you can learn from that video in the description, that strange glow could hypothetically be caused by the particles we've been looking for for a very long time, axions, which would also be a direct proof of the observations of dark matter. But at the moment all of this is kind of preliminary, and so we have these two types of glows in very different parts of the solar system. But now the scientists have discovered something else, the third type of a glow, also kind of currently unknown. In this case this was part of a program known as SkySurf, which essentially represents the largest collection of Hubble images meant to study the mysteries of the night skies. And in this case, after analyzing roughly around 200,000 Hubble images and doing very thorough calculations, removing a lot of extra light that we already are aware of, the scientific team discovered that there was still some light that was left behind, the light that was only present in the inner solar system and did not really have a very good explanation. But it's very very dim, very difficult to detect. The scientists in this case compared this to having like 10 individual fireflies in the entire night skies. But it's there nevertheless. It's also much larger in terms of volume than the zodiacal light and is distributed farther away, but is a lot dimmer than the zodiacal light or even the light discovered by the New Horizons, representing some kind of a local phenomenon that's producing the glow inside the solar system. But discovering all of this was really challenging, and mostly because of the way that Hubble takes images and how we process them afterwards. More than 95% of all of the light that's in the Hubble image usually comes from distances much closer than one light year, within the solar system itself. And so in the early Hubble days, a lot of these extra photons were actually discarded because the scientists really wanted to focus on these distant objects or to take these glorious pictures of distant galaxies that would otherwise be invisible, with this discarded information known as sky photons. But these sky photons obviously contain a lot of information that could be useful that was discarded over time. For example, it could be some really faint objects that appear to be part of these sky photons, but they were just invisible after the processing was done. And so that's pretty much what SkySurf wants to do. It wants to use the information collected by Hubble 
for several decades to essentially rediscover things that might have been lost over time. And in the process, by conducting the research with 200,000 different images, they did discover a lot of that extra light. The light that could not really be explained by these extra galaxies, because they actually confirmed this by trying to see if there were any galaxies missing, and unfortunately, the galaxies did not really show us anything. So the light must have been coming from within the solar system. And so even when removing every known source of light, there was still some extra glow left without any current explanation. Now this is still a preliminary discovery, but if this discovery is confirmed, it essentially means that there is some other additional architecture that seems to be part of the solar system and seems to create these effects. And so maybe all of this extra light is caused by thousands and millions and even billions of various comets that go around the solar system, creating long tails, with the icy particles that are left as a result potentially being responsible for this extra glow. So maybe it's some kind of a cometary dust cloud. And since comets do actually have very diverse orbits around the solar system, it would explain why we're seeing this glow coming from everywhere. But naturally, comets are not the only explanation. As a matter of fact, other explanations of other glow could also come into play here. Just like the zodiacal light, this could in theory be also created by planetary interaction and the planets inside the solar system. For example, maybe the interaction between Jupiter and its moons. Or more intriguingly, just like the explanation from the New Horizons, for all we know, maybe this glow is actually also coming from mysterious axions, but actually located right here in the solar system. Or in other words, maybe we are seeing dark matter. Although dark matter has also been used as an explanation for the excess glow right in the middle of the Milky Way itself, and so sometimes it's just used as a kind of a placeholder. Basically, when we don't really know what's causing extra glow, sometimes scientists speculate that maybe it's dark matter particles. In this case, though, a lot of recent examinations revealed that it's probably ancient pulsars, ancient neutron stars, potentially coming from a distant galaxy behind the Milky Way itself. I think there's a video in the description that explains it a little bit better. And so at the moment, it's just another intriguing discovery of yet another mystery right here in the solar system. The most likely explanation is probably cometary particles, but for all we know, future studies might actually discover something else more intriguing, just like it was discovered with the zodiacal light as well. And so even though a lot of scientists originally assumed that all of this was just meteoroid dust, it turned out to be coming from Mars and not really meteoroids. And so here I'm actually excited to hear future explanations for this unusual new glow that the scientists discovered in the Hubble imagery. But at least for now, that's I guess all we know. It's just a very recent discovery, and there's just not enough data or information to figure out what's happening. Until future studies or until future explanations, Check out some of the previous videos on other mysterious glows across the solar system or other parts of the universe in the description below. And also the paper as well as a lot of other relevant links should be found there as well. On that note, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.